as a background, polycythemia vera is a chronic leukemia uh, that leads to the overproduction of many blood cells. And what we really worry about in these patients is that they are at increased risk for thrombotic events, meaning uh, heart attacks, strokes, DVTs, uh, blood clots, uh, otherwise. Uh, and, and that really forms the kind of mainstay of our treatment is to try to prevent those thrombotic events as well as maximize quality of life in, in these chronic leukemias. Uh, and the way we do that traditionally has been uh, with the baby aspirin, phlebotomies to keep the hematocrit less than 45%, and in some cases, cytoreductive therapy agents that, that help to control the blood counts. Uh, so the problem with our current therapy is that oftentimes it requires heavily on phlebotomies to keep the hematocrit below 45%, and that leads to uh, a significant state of iron deficiency, which allows for less need for phlebotomies, but also symptoms that are associated with iron deficiency. And so this trial looks at, at an agent called PTG300, which is a hepcidin mimetic. And the goal of this was to see if we could uh, pharmacologically reduce the need for phlebotomies while allowing iron levels to remain in a, in a, in a pretty good zone to, to avoid those symptoms of iron deficiency. Um, and, and intriguingly, in the, in the small number of patients we've treated so far, it, it appears to do that pretty substantially. And as you can see from this graph, uh, the, the red dots there where patients were getting phlebotomies. And then once they go on study, those phlebotomies pretty much uh, are eliminated. And, and in, in the abstracts we're presenting at ASH, we show that, that the PTG300 eliminates the needs for phlebotomy, but also is able to regulate these iron levels and uh, seems to be associated with an improvement in symptoms, such as improvement in concentration, fatigue, itching, as well as other symptoms.